Listen for the words calculate and equation. Check out this heated battle at the candle factory. You'll never get away with this, Dr. Kubrain! Oh, yes, I will, word. Go! I'm gonna stop your plan to... Wait, what exactly is your plan? Ah, that's for me to know and you to find out. Well, actually, I'd prefer you didn't find out. Can you at least give me a hint? No hints! And I'm gonna start firing again. Why did I stop in the first place? Oh. Oh. Time to reproduce our time-tested monkey throw, Captain Huggy Face. A one, a two, three is a prime number! How do I know that? Because I'm Kid Math! Uh... What? I'm the superhero they call Kid Math! Here to save the day! Kid Math is greater than any villain! It's a simple equation. Danger plus Kid Math equals justice! Okay. Why'd everyone stop? Isn't this an epic battle between good and evil? Well, yeah, but... Uh, Dr. Two Brains and I have a rhythm, and you kind of interrupted us here. Yeah, what were we? Did I say you'll never get away with this yet? Or... Hey, Kid Math, if you're so good at math, what's a million plus a million? <laughs> it's easy to calculate that equation. It's two million. <gasps> Whoa, he is Kid Math. Hold on, hold on, okay? Everyone just, I mean, where did you even come from? I'm from a planet far away called Hexagon. Hexagon? No way! I'm from Lexicon! Right on the other side of the solar system? What are the odds? A 3,476,543 to 1. Oh. So anyway, I was off for a joyride in my spaceship when I saw Earth and thought, hmm, maybe I'll stop by and see if there's a city down there that could use a really awesome superhero! Oh, well, it already has one, so the position's been filled. Oh, really? By who? Actually, it's by whom, and the answer is by me. I'm the superhero they call Word Girl. One superhero versus lots of villains is an unbalanced equation. Well, I do just fine battling all the supervillains on this planet by myself. Thank you very much. Okay, well, you two kids clearly have a lot to catch up on, so we're just gonna take this super wax ray and escape. Bye, Word Girl. Bye, Kid Man. Mm. Well, Kid Math, I guess we'd better... Oh. Huh. We're minus one Kid Math. <laughs> math, math joke. The next day at school... Hey, Word Girl! It's me, Kid Math! Ah, ha, 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 good joke! Ha, guy whose name I don't even know. No! You cannot tell anyone you... Oh, boy. How did you even know it was me? Are you serious? Besides, I'm from Hexagon, home of the smartest and the tastiest raisins in the universe. Call me Becky, that's my name. Don't you have a name? Rex. Rex from Hexagon? Uh, actually, Rex is a nickname. Well, what's it short for? Rexagon. Of course. Well, you can't just walk around telling everyone your secret identity, Rex. No one can ever know your kid math. Wait, why can't I tell them? Won't they love me if they know I'm a superhero? Yeah, probably, but... That seems good. Uh... Hey, let's figure out a plan to defeat Dr. Two Brains, even though he has a number in his name, which I like. Um, okay. Now, what is Dr. Two Brains' thing? Is he a villain who has a thing? Well, yes, actually. His thing is cheese. The guy loves cheese. Oh, I wish there was a way to describe this Earth villain's behavior with an equation. Wait, do you know what an equation is? Uh, of course. An equation is a way to show that something is the same as something else. Like, one plus three is the same as four, and Dr. Two Brains plus a stolen ray is the same as trouble. Not bad, word girl. Becky! <gasps> Who's Becky? I'm Becky! Ugh. You're never going to be able to fit Dr. Two Brain's behavior into an equation. He's unpredictable. Maybe he'll listen to me. I'm very logical. Yeah, I'm getting that. 
Listen, it's important that we stop Dr. Two Brains, but it's even more important that you don't tell anyone you're... you know who. Shit, Matt! Yeah, okay! <gasps> Did, Did you, you hear, hear that? that? It sounded like, like a, a security, security alarm. alarm. I'd better go! Hang on, hang on! You can't just leave in the middle of school to go fight a crime. You up, have to... Up, 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 up! Everybody look at me! Ugh. <sighs> I'm gonna have to teach this kid the rules of being a superhero, Bob. Whoosh! Starting with the importance of keeping his identity a secret. And mine. A few minutes later at the Ray Amplifier Emporium. Oh, good work, girl. Dr. Two Brains! Wait, you're happy to see me? What is this guy's deal? I'm in the middle of a crime and he just storms in, doesn't say anything witty or challenging, just starts with a fighting. What is that? Nah, he's new here. Uh, Kid Math, you have superpowers. How did you get captured so easily? I'm still trying to calculate that. This math whiz fell for the oldest trick in the book. The old, hey, what's that? <laughs> Can you believe it? I didn't even sell it. Just go, hey, what's that? And he was like, where? When someone says, what's that? It's because there's something notable to see. Of course I looked. Well, now that you're here, let's show the new kid how it's done. How about I show him how you're done? Done committing crimes, that is. You hear that, kid? The back-and-forth banter, little witty repartee. That's heroes and villains. Hey, what's behind you? Ah, nice try, Two Brains. Now she's a superhero. Zap her, boy, zap them both. Word Girl, uh, can you help? Let's save him, Huggy. Initiate plan 229. That's a prime number! Hey, where'd that come from? Oh, this store merged with the one down the street. It's now the Ray Amplifier Emporium slash Giant Cage Outlet. Two stores! What? That's ridiculous. Look, what do you want? This town's getting weird. I'm getting out of here. Not so fast, two brains. Don't count me out yet. Hey, that's nice. He's learning. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good, Kid Map. Hey, what's that over there? Where? No! <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so clearly there are a few things we need to work on. Look, it's hard being a superhero on this planet, Kid Map. Villains like Dr. Two Brains are always trying to trick you, so you have to be careful. Like the way you trick everyone with your secret identity? Yeah, no, I mean, you can't equate those two things. It's hard to explain, and it might take time to understand, but I promise it's worth it. I mean, look at this place. It is nice here. And that's where I live. <gasps> Can I see it? Sure, but you have to remember, I'm Becky, not Word Girl, Becky. And you're Rex, got it? Got it. You just said 16 words. <sighs> Well, shake it up, Pepper. Shake it up, Pepper. Shake, shake, shake. Well, hello there, Becky and Becky's friend. Bob, Bob, Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. Uh, this is my dad. Dinner's almost ready. Just need to calculate the right amount of sea salt. I love calculating. Calculate means to figure out or measure something, often using math. And I love that because I'm kid math. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I'm cook dad. Who are you, Becky? Daughter girl? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah, super fun. Rex, can I talk to you in the other room, please? Uh, listen, Rex, remember earlier when I told you that you can't let people find out your secret identity? I've been calculating it in my head, and there's no reason not to tell everyone that I'm Kid Math! But there are reasons. For one, it makes your job of being a superhero so much easier. Not to mention your job of being a regular kid. But I'm a superhero kid. No. You're just a regular kid. Get it? What's that you're doing with your eye? <gasps> Do you need help? I can help you! I'm a superhero! No! I just... Ah! Now some local news. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a mouse blimp. <laughs> a lot of fun. That's what's happening in the city. Back to you, Maria. Okay, Rex. We better go stop Dr. Two Brains. Let's go talk to my dad. But if we don't tell your dad who we are, how do we get away? Just watch. Put the salt in the pot. I put the salt in the pot. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh. Uh, hey, Dad. Rex and I have to go. We have uh, saxophone class. Sounds amazing. Have fun. 
So in this case, your secret identity made it easy for you to go and fight crime without anyone worrying about you. Exactly! <laughs> Come on, let's go! Wah! Um, math! You'll figure something out. Stop right there, two brains! Lord girl, and a... Uh, uh, arithmetic lad, was it? Nope! My name is Rex. I am a normal boy who... No, no, no! Uh, just let me do the talking. Let me guess, you're turning something into cheese. No! Uh, yes! Not right away. My plan has two phases. One for each of my brains. Phase one! I'm gonna cover the city with a layer of wax. Phase two! I'm gonna turn everything underneath the wax into cheese. <gasps> but why don't you turn the city into cheese first, then put the wax over the cheese? Hey, Kid Math, can I get you to focus on stopping the crime, not finding ways to make it work better? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Kid Math, can I get you to take one tiny step to your left? I don't see why not. No, don't do it! Ow! Ow! Oh! <laughs> now you have the best seat in the house to watch phase one. But it's so illogical. Ahem, bigger problems here. Actually, I think I can break out of this pretty easily. No! A superhero needs to know how to build suspense so the audience gets excited. Really? Okay, I mean, I'll never break free of this heavy cage with my not strong arms. In fact, I don't even have arms! Is it even possible to calculate what might happen? Find out in the next equally exciting episode of Work Girls!